Samantala, wala namang mapagsidla ng tuwa ang mga Filipino fans na nanood ang preseason game ng Houston Rockets at Indiana Pacers sa Moa Arena sa Pasay City kagabi. Ito ay dahil para sa kanila ay sulit ang kanilang ginasos at pagod sa pagpunta sa venue, mapanood lamang ng personal ang kanilang mga iniidolong NBA superstars. Pero bukod sa mga local fans, may isang NBA coach din ang bumilib sa sobrang pagkahumaling ng mga Pinoy sa larong basketball. Alamin natin kung sino siya sa report ni Mika Halili. Labis na namang ha si Houston Rockets head coach Kevin McHale sa ipinakitang enthusiasm ng mga local spectators sa kauna-unahang NBA Global Games dito sa Pilipinas kagabi. Katapat ang Indiana Pacers, sa opening tip-off pa lamang ay nagpasiklab na agad sa opensa ang Rockets kung saan hinawakan nila ang 61-55 lead sa halftime. Sa third canto ay nagawa pang palubohin ang tropa ni McHale sa siyam na puntos ang kanilang bentahe bago sila tuluyan nag-pull away sa fourth and final period para ilista ang 116-96 lopsided win. Si star guard James Harden na pumukol ng 21 points ang tumayong top scorer para sa Rockets habang si forward Omri Caspi naman ang nahira na best player of the game sa kanyang total output na 17 markers at 10 boards. Ayon kay McHale, Malaking tulong para sa panalo ng Rockets ang hiyawan at suporta ng mga Pinoy fans. It's been, it's been a good experience. I mean, I, I, I thought coming over here, you know, I was, it was a fun game tonight. Played against a very good team in Indiana. Um, we, had, we had a couple days of practice here where we were able to get acclimated. I know a lot of the guys went out and did some fun things and got out and saw the city a little bit. So it was a, it was a nice trip to Manila. I thought it was a fun game. It was a good atmosphere. That's, that's the nice thing about coming over to uh, different places. The fans are really excited, and it was it had had a had a nice vibe and a nice um, nice amount of energy in, in the in the arena. Samantala, labis naman ang katuwaan ng ilang fans na nanood sa laro dahil para sa kanila ay sulit ang kanilang pagod sa pagtungo sa venue. It's very exciting na uh, talagang very competitive yung laro nila. It's really an experience. Well, it's a very good experience, especially all the NBA stars. Most of them have played here in Manila. So it's quite an experience. It's so much sulit kasi it's an experience for the kids as you can see. Are you guys happy? Yeah. Well, see, so well, it was a fun experience and uh, first time ko actually makapanood dito sa Mall of Asia Arena and NBA pa na panood ko. So uh, I think it's this will be a once in a lifetime experience. Sa init ng pagtanggap ng mga Filipino fans sa unang NBA preseason game sa Pilipinas, Ipinatunayan nilang hindi lamang sila isang basketball-loving nation, handang-handa rin silang sumuporta sa mga laro ng pinakapopular na basketball league sa mundo kung sakali mang itaos ulit ang mga ito sa bansa. Para sa PT, Keisha Halili, Telebisyon ng Bayan. Sa professional basketball o PBA, physical at umaatikabong action po ang inaasahang masasaksiyan ng mga fans sa pagsisimula ng Best of Seven Championship Series ng sister teams Petron Blaze Boosters at San Miguel Coffee Mixers sa PBA Governors Cup ngayong gabi. Una pong pumasok sa finals ang San Miguel Coffee sa pamamagitan ng pagpapatalisik sa Meralco Bolts 3 games to 1 noong linggo bago po sila sinunda ng San Mig o ng uh, Petron na umani rin ng 3 to 1 series win naman kontra Rain or Shine Last Two Painters noong lunes. Para sa karagdagang detalye, nagbabalik si Ms. Ria Arrevalo. Aminado si Petron Blaze Coach G. Abanilla na interim lamang ang posisyon niya sa team bago nagsimula ang PBA Governor's Cup. It, I don't want uh, to bother myself with that anymore. Pero pre, ano ba yan? Parang motivation mo to win this championship. Isa ba yan? Well, oo. Uh, uh, maganda rin ano yun. Maganda rin motivation yun. Ano? Uh, uh, it's just a an opportunity for me to prove myself. Kaya naman determinado siyang dalhin sa kampiyonato ng season-ending tournament ang Petron. Personally, for me, about uh, it came to a point na not it's not about winning or losing anymore. It's about giving your best every time because for me, those are the things that you cannot control. Eh? Like uh, what will happen, the outcome of the future. It's something that you have no control over. Pero hindi magiging madali ang misyong ito ni Abanilla dahil nangako si Sammy Coffee Mentor Tim Cohn na hindi nila basta-basta isusuko ang corona. Sa katunayan, naniniwala si Cohn na makakaya nilang tapatan ang ipinagmamalaking higante ng Petron na si rookie Junmar Fajardo. I think we have a little bit more side to rain and shine uh, had and we'll be able to um, contest a little bit more. 
Gayunpaman, aminado si Cohn na dehado sila sa laban kontra Petron dahil na rin sa impresibong performance ng championship rival sa elimination hanggang sa semis. Ang Game 1 ng Best of 7 Championship Series ng Petron at Sammy Coffey ay idaraos sa MOA Arena sa Pasay City mamayang alas 8 ng gabi. Para sa PTV Sports, Ria Arevalo, Telebisyon ng Bayan. Samantala, posibleng malipat naman ang kuponan si Big Man Bo Belga. Ito ay kung hindi siya pipirma ng contract extension sa Rainer Shine Elastic Painters bago matapos ang kasalukuyang buwan. Tumaas ang value ng 6'5 wingman matapos na makasama siya ng Gilas Pilipinas squad sa scrimmages. Narito ang report ni Ms. Nicole Ramos. Isang barangay Ginebra San Miguel sa mga napabalitang umaasinta di umano ngayon kay Brain or Shine Elastic Painters big man Bo Belga. mag expire ang kontrata ng 6'5 women's Rain or Shine sa October 31. At hindi itinanggi ng kanyang agent na may kinakausap na silang team. Well, kaya nga nagkagun si Belga dahil may kumakausap sa kanya. Uh, Gayun pa man, inamin ni Danny Espiritu na makikipagpulong pa siya sa management ng Elastic Painter. At dito ay umaasa siya na magkakaroon ng linawang future ng kanyang prize cager. Nakikot siya tsaka sa management eh. Pero may meeting kami ng Tuesday sa uh, pisingan. Wala pa naman Tuesday. Uh, hindi, ko alam, hindi ko pa alam kung paano mangyayari kay Peruga. Sa lapat ng kanyang katawan at sa malapader na depensa, walang duda na pag-aagawan si Belga ng mga teams kapag pumasok na siya sa free agent market. Para sa PTV Sports, Nicole Ramos, Telebisyon ng Bayan. Sa Collegiate League, malaki po ang posibilidad na mawala na ang mga foreign athletes sa susunod na mga season ng UAAP. Ito'y dahil halos karamihan po sa mga board members ay katig sa panukalang ipagbawal na ang paglalaro ng mga banyagang atleta sa UAAP Sports Fest. May report si Sports Radio Senior Correspondent Judith Karinga. Posibleng sumunod na rin sa yapak ng NCAA ang collegiate league rival na UAAP sa aspeto ng paghihigpit sa mga foreign athletes. Ayon kay University of the Philippines President Alfredo Pascual, muling tin sa pulong ng UAAP board ang plano para ipagbawal na ang paglalaro ng mga banyagang atleta sa kanilang events. Well, if uh, I think there is consensus with respect to that issue, uh, the NCAA has already laid down the policy, setting I think uh, 2015 as the start of no recruitment of foreign play of foreign players. Uh, I think it's but uh, appropriate, you know, that we follow suit in the UAAP. Ibinunyag green ni Pascual na mayorya ng mga board members ay pabor na sa nasabing proposal. Kahit maaari umanong i-anunsyo ng UAAP ang pagpapatupad nito sa mga susunod na araw. Oh yeah, yeah. very soon. 2015 na Most around that area. Maging si UP College of Human Kinetics Dean Ronaldo Dizer ay sumusuporta rin sa nasabing panukala. Kasi nga, for every position that an, uh, uh, a foreigner will take, will get, it is automatically one possession opportunity for our Filipino player. Samantala, hindi na ang malinaw na posisyon si National University Representative to the UAAP Board, Nilo Ocampo, patungkol sa naturang issue. We have to discuss it pa. Wala pa, wala pa naman. Well, a welcome is from him. I don't know where he or I know that meeting, meeting sila. Right? That's one of the, no? one of the, actually even before they met, meron ang pinag-uusapan na rin namin yun eh. But uh, we haven't really seriously, we can bring it out in the void pa eh. Panay, yeah. ano lang eh, kwento, parang kwento-kwento lang. Higit pa ni Ocampo, dapat ring isaalang-alang ang mga karapatang pampalakasan ng mga banyagang student-athletes na nandirito sa bansa para mag-aral. 
para sa PTV Sports. Judith Karingal, Telebesyon ng Bayan. Lipat tayo sa boxing. Bagabat apat na beses silang nagkasago pa, inatigan pa rin ni Juan Manuel Huerquez, si Manny Pacquiao sa showdown kontra Brandon Rios sa susunod na buwan. Ito'y dahil aminado siya na mas veterano sa laban si Pacquiao kaysa kay Rios. Ang kabuang detalye ihahatid ni Ms. Cristabel de Leon. Malaki ang paniniwala ni Juan Manuel Marquez na si Manny Pacquiao ang magwawag sa showdown kontra Brandon Rios sa Nobyembre 24. Sa final press conference ng title clash na Timothy Bradley, matigas na sinabi ni Marquez na malaki ang bentahe ni Pacquiao kay Rios sa aspeto ng experience. It's another great fight. It's, uh, uh, Rios is a uh, stronger fight. Pacquiao has stronger fight too. He has speed. He has power in, the, in his punch. And I, I, I think uh, another great fight for, for the two fighters. Kasunod nito, nagpahiwatig si Marquez na maaaring tapos na ang rivalry nila ni Pacquiao. Matapos sa patulugin niya sa sixth round ang Pinoy opponent sa kanilang ikaapat na enkwentro noong isang taon. I want to fight with me in Mexico, but uh, I said I want to I want to keep with 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 this, with this feeling. Sa linggo ay tatangkain ni Marquez na maagaw ang WBO welterweight belt mula kay Bradley sa main event ng boxing card na gaganapin sa Thomas and Max Center sa Las Vegas, Nevada. Para sa PTV Sports, Cristobal De Leon, Telebisyon ng Bayan. Sa boxing pa rin, bagamat aminadong mabigat ang laban sa AIBA World Boxing Championship sa Kazakhstan, buo pa rin po ang tiwala ni ABAP Executive Director Ed Pixon na magagawa mailabas ng mga Pinoy pugilists ang kanilang tapang. Pamumunuan po ni SEA Games Gold Medalist Mark Anthony Barigam pagsuntok ng mga pugilists ng medalya sa torneo na lalahokan rin ang mahigit 120 countries. Bukod kay Barigam, lalaban rin ho at lumipad na patungong Kazakhstan kaninang umaga si Naroldan Boncales, Mario Fernandez at Dennis Galvan. Huling tumikim po ng gold medal sa World Championships ng Pilipinas noong 2011 at ito po ay ng pagharian ni Yumer Felix Marshall ang light bantamweight ng World Juniors Championships. Sa tennis, muli nagpamalas ng consistency ang tandem ni na Pinoy netter Threat Huey at Dominic Inglot ng Great Britain. Sa Shanghai Masters ay umabante sa quarterfinals ng men's doubles si na Huey at Inglot Matapos na ma-upset nila ang higher-rated pair ni na Rohan Bopana ng India at Edward Roger Vasselin ng France. Matapos ang madikit na 7-4 first set tie-break win, dumanas ng pagod sa sumunod na set si na Huey at Inglot dahilan upang manaig ang kalaban 5-7. Pero kasabay ng pag-igting ng hatawan sa third and deciding set, nagpamalas naman ng matatalim na ground stroke si Huey upang hataki nila ang 10-6 win sa tiebreaker. Masasabing sweet revenge para kay na Huey at Inglot ang panalo matapos na pagsarahan sila ng pintuan ni na Vaseline sa semifinal ng Japan Open nung isang linggo. Ang makakaharap ni na Huey at Inglot sa round of eight ay ang top-seeded duo ng magkakambal na Mike at Bob Ryan ng Amerika. Lipat po tayo sa football. Sisimula na ng Philippine Ascals ang pagdidepensa ng titulo sa 2013 Peace Cup sa Bacolod City ngayong gabi. Katapat ang Chinese Taipei, naniniwala si team captain uh, Chifi Kaligdong na hindi magiging madali para sa kanilang laban kahit pa masasabing puno ng star power ang kanilang roster. Ito'y dahil wala o mano silang scouting sa Taiwanese counterparts na naghahanda para sa kanilang partisipasyon sa World Youth Olympics sa susunod na taon. Matapos po ang matchup kontra Chinese Taipei mamayang alas 7 ng gabi, makakapangka naman ng Philippine 11 ang Pakistan sa huling araw ng kompetisyon sa Martes. Um, yung team, hindi pa, siyempre, naka, naka, ano din yun, siguro may mga practices din sila. So, uh, sabi nga ng coach nila kanina na more, halos sa teams niya ay bago. And the more on uh, young players yung din naman niya para sa preparation niya rin sa Olympic uh, next year. Uh, hindi naman, uh, kung hindi naman dun sa advantage, siguro, depende yun sa ano niya baka, yun na, siya na, na mga experienced player and binunanag na ganyan yung siguro ng mga young players na kaunti. Samantala, kinopo naman ng Loyola Meralco Sports ang titulo ng preseason tournament ng United Football League o UFL. Ito ay matapos na hindi sumipo sa championship match ang Caribala Global FC kagabi dahil sa kakulangan ng manlalaro. Sa isang statement, sinabi ni team manager Dan Palami na karamihan sa kanilang mga booters ay nasa Bacolod City. Upang maglaro para sa Philippine Asko sa Peace Cup. Bukod pa rito, may injury rin ang ilan sa kanilang mga players, kaya't pito lamang ang natira sa kanilang roster. 
Sa katunayan, umapila ang Global FC na i-reschedule ang finals. Pero hindi sila pinayagan ng UFL, kaya't ibinigay sa Loyola ang panalo by default. Sa cycling, matapos po ang silver medal finish sa ASEAN level ng nakalipas na Tour de Langkawi Mountain Bike Championships, balik po sa puspusang pag ensayo ang mga Filipino riders. Hangat na maungusan ng mga arch rivals mula sa Indonesia at Thailand sa SEA Games. Nagbalik po sa bulubunduking ruta sa Tagaytay, Cebu at Palawan, si Nino Surban, Alvin Binosa, Eusebio Quinones at Mar March McQueen Alunar. Two golds po ang target ng cycling team sa Myanmar SEA Games na gaganapin sa buwan ng Disyembre. Samantala, pasadahan naman natin ang mga tampok na sports stories overseas. Sa report ni Ms. Keisha Halili. Determinado ang two-time defending champion Miami Heat na patunayan sila pa rin ang team to beat sa papasok na season ng National Basketball Association o NBA. Sa pangunguna ni center Chris Bosch na tumikada ng 28 points at 4 rebounds, umani ang Miami ng 112-107 to victory contra host Detroit Pistons kanina upang palawigin sa 2-0 ang kanilang winning start sa preseason games ng Liga. Si Bosch ay inagapayan ni reserve forward James Jones na nag-ambag ng 12 markers para sa Heat. Habang si star guard Dwayne Wade na lumiban sa preseason opener ng team ay tumikada naman ng 8 points, 4 rebounds at 4 assists. Si Will Bynum at Andre Drummond naman ang namuno sa atake ng Pistons sa kanilang combined output na 49 markers at 15 boards. Sa men's tennis. Nagwakas na ang kampanya ni former world number one Roger Federer sa Shanghai Masters sa China. Kagabi ay lumasap ng loss ang fifth-seeded Swiss netter sa kamay ni Gael Mofils ng France, 6-4, 6-7 at 6-3 sa third round ng hardcore tournament. Nangapa ng gusto si Federer sa laban kung saan nakagawa siya ng 36 unforced errors. At ang karamihan dito ay nangyari sa crucial points ng match. Ang quarterfinal opponent ni Monfils ay si top seed Novak Djokovic ng Serbia na nagwagi naman laban kay Fabio Fognini ng Italy. Sa women's tennis, pasok na si second seed Sloane Stephens sa quarterfinal ng Generali Ladies sa Linz, Austria. Ito ay matapos ng dispatchahin niya si Andrea Petkovic ng Germany sa loob ng tatlong sets, 7-6, 4-6 at 6-3 kagabi. Nakabreak agad si Stephen sa opening game ng third and final set bago niya isinelyo ang panalo sa kanyang ikatlong match point. Ang 12th rank American ay nangailangan ng dalawat kalahating oras para maikasaap pakikipagsagupa kay Stephanie Vogel ng Switzerland sa round of eight. At sa athletics, mas mahigpit na siguradad ang ipapatupad sa Chicago Marathon sa linggo. Ito ay upang maiwasang maulit ang trahedya ng nangyari sa Boston Marathon noong Abril kung saan tatlong spectators ang nasawis ang naganap na pagsabog malapit sa finish line. Baggage checks sa lahat ng mga runners at fans, gayon ang sa crowd na lumapit sa ruta ng karera, ang ilan lamang sa mga ipapatupad ng event organizers. Sa ngayon ay 45,000 participants na ang nagparehistro sa Chicago Race na bahagi ng World Marathon Major Series tulad ng Boston, Berlin, London, New York at Tokyo events. Para sa PTV Sports, Keisha Halili, Telebisyon ng Bayan. At sa isang kapapasok na balita na kanina pa inaabangan ni Kirby Raimundo, natupad na po ang pangarap ni Gary David na ma-trade sa ibang popunan. Kanina po ay ipinadala na ng Global Port Batang Pierre sa Meralco Bolt si David kasama si rookie guard AJ Mandani. Kapalit po nila si na Chris Ross, Chris Timberlake at dalawang second round picks ng Meralco. Sa pagpasok po ni David sa kanilang roster, inaasahang magkakaroon ng bagong offensive dimension ng tropa ni coach Ryan Gregorio. Ito ay dahil bukod ho kay David, nasa Miral ko rin ang iba pang heavy gunners na sina John Wilson, Mike Cortez, Sunday Salvacion at Mark Cardona. Samantala, tumanggi pa hong magbigay ng komento si David ukol sa proposed trade, pero ayon nga po kay Coach Ryan Gregorio, yan po ay patungo na sa PBA Commissioner's Office para hinga ng approval. Kinumpirma na rin po ito ni Team President uh, John Wichico. Samantala, labis naman ang katuwaan ni Cardona sa pagpasok sa kanilang team ng kaibigang si Gary David. Wala pa ang alam eh. Pero sinabi na sa akin eh, gano'n eh, daw. Winawar pa daw, winawasap ako. Eh, yun nga, hinihintay pa yung approval at ang ano. Pero anong pakiramdam mo? Tingin mo fit ka sa Amiral ko? Eh, eh kahit sa naman ako team na mapunta eh, maglalaro, maglalaro, maglalaro ako. Wala naman ako. Mm -hmm. Tamang problema doon kahit na may request o ano, ano. Ako naman, uh, alam mo yun, I have no complaint for, ano, sa playing time ko. I, I, hindi ako complain to me, Coach Ryan, about my playing time. 
Mm-hmm. Basta as long as we winning, pare, wala akong problema. Siguro yung bata ako na hindi ako nakakatipo ng ganun, pare, mm-hmm. magwawala ako nun. Ah. No, ang dami diba? nating balita ngayon. Actually, mga ano na yan eh, mga isang taon na yata natin binabalita yung tungkol kay Gary David na yan eh, na Uh-oh. may plano na pupunta sa... Pero ba't siya lagi? Petron. Eh, na-involve sa mga sa, trades. Pero sa, hindi natutuloy. Sa Global Port kasi siya yung pinaka, ano eh, pinaka, kumbaga, isa sa pinaka-interesting trade bait. Sa Global I think ngayon, yung dynamics sila mas gumanda. Uh, pero ito ha, I-discuss ho namin, hihimayin ho namin ng maigi sa inyo yung nagganap na trade na yan as well as yun pong komento ng mga opisyales ng Meralco Bolts at ng Global Port Batang Pierre kasama ang inyong mga text, email, Facebook at Twitter messages sa pagbabalik ng PTV Sports. Hi, I'm Luis Escola and you are watching PTV Sports. TLSU Lady Booter, team captain and 2010 UAAP MVP, currently plays for the Philippines national women's football team, known as the Malditas. She also played for the 19 and under national team since she was 14 with her team's battle cry, Battle and Bleed. How is it like to be a female soccer player? Let's find out and visit the crib of Miss Sam Nieras. Come on, guys. Hi, Sam. Hey, what's up? I'm Sam Nieres from the Malditas, and this is my house. So, welcome to my house. This is our living room. We get down on some pretty intense Xbox games, GTA 5, Just Dance. This is our dining room. It seats 16 because my house is always full of teammates, me- business meetings. Just pretty much everybody's over here all the time. This is actually the least full it's ever been in the last three months. So it's always full. It's always full. My teammates from the U.S. are here. Some of the Askels come over. Mm-hmm. Stallions. My dad's the coach of the Stallions in the UFL. Yeah, my whole family, we're all athletes, so we have Gatorade stock, Mountain Dew water. Can't live without chocolate milk. This is our kitchen. This is Mana. She's been with our family for generation. She was even with my dad when he lived here in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some of our medals and some pictures. All our, yeah. Our, they've been our medals since we started playing and I started playing, I was in Taekwondo when I was around six or seven in the U.S. And then my brother and I played in the in the police league in the U.S. when we lived there. Yeah. And then majority of them are from when we lived here already. So now we'll head up there to all the bedrooms. Cash collection. <laughs> this is the other half. Yeah, I love my sneakers. <laughs> This is probably my favorite place just because I like to sleep. After coming home from a long tournament, I just crash for like a week straight. It's going to enter dangerous territory. This is my parents' room. <laughs> my dad, coach of the Malditas and the Stallions. different from your personality. <laughs> yeah. We all play sports though. My youngest sister, she's a gymnast and she's a cheerleader in the La Salle Zabel. Oh. And then our middle sister, she plays football for the U19 team. 
of the national team, and for De La Salle Zabel, too. You have a very talented family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't live without sports. You can't sit still. We always have to be up doing something. Well, that's a good lifestyle, active lifestyle. And we all do it together, so it's really good. And these are my first pair of Nike shoes. Started the addiction. <laughs> Shoe addiction? Yeah. When I was a kid, and I've kept them ever since. Yeah, this is me. <laughs> Not as dark as everyone thinks I am. Yeah. That's just a reminder. It has the uniform schedule. And then when my friends come over, sometimes they write some stuff down. Oh, yeah. it's actually a whiteboard. Yeah, it is a whiteboard, yeah. Just, you know, sometimes, like, the one on top. Mm -hmm. When I was playing basketball for De La Salle University, I heard a comment from the other team saying, like, why are you even playing her? She's not, yeah. So I wrote that down, it was motivation, and just to keep going, you know, don't let anyone tear you down. Yeah. One of our keepsakes here at home, it's a locker signed by the LA Galaxy when they came to play the Ascals. <laughs> so yeah, my favorite player is definitely Donovan. Sure. Midfielder, right here. Ah, oh, this is your favorite player, Donovan. Landon Donovan. Plays for the U.S. men's national team. So Sam, uh, what do you usually do here at home? Um, well, if I'm just coming back from a tournament, I'm usually passed out for like a week. But yeah, I like to help run errands for my mom and my dad. I like to help out here and there with the business or with my, you know, just household errands. Or you can catch me here in the living room watching TV or playing with the Xbox. So um, how long have you and your family been living here? Uh, we moved here when I was 11, so we've been here for about 12, 13 years. Hit half my life in the U.S. and half my life here. other hobbies besides playing soccer? I love absolutely all sports, so I like to work out in the gym a lot just to keep fit. What is it like um, to be a female soccer player? It's the best feeling in the world, representing my country. Um, I've always, you know, adored watching the U.S. women's national team and how they won and, you know, how you know, watching all my teammates and idolizing everyone, and now I get the chance to do it here in the Philippines. It's amazing. So, um, what is it like to um, have a father who who coaches you? Is it um like, does it give you um an advantage or is it a disadvantage? Well, a lot of people may think it's an advantage, you know, being the coach's kid, but I honestly think that I get it a lot harder. Just because he, he wants me to prove to everyone that I'm not here just on his terms. I'm here because I deserve it and I worked hard for it. And, and it's fun having him there because we get to spend, like, I'm out of the house a lot. And it's fun to get to have someone from my family that's with me all the time, too. Yeah, how do you manage your time with friends? And, you know, do you still have time for love life? Or, you know, or hanging out with your friends? Yeah. Definitely have a love life. My boyfriend's over there. It helps to <laughs> it helps to have very understanding friends and family. Like all the people around me are very understanding and supportive of what I do. And a lot of my friends play football, so we can spend time together at training. Or you know, if I want to do some extra football skills, they'll come out to help me, and we can hang out there. Sam, what are your future plans? Um. Would it still be involving soccer? For sure. I'm taking a coaching course soon, you know, just to have the option of becoming a coach, especially for the national team with my experience. I feel like I could help. I want to see the Philippines make it to the World Cup, hopefully, with or without me on that team. <laughs> Soccer has always been my outlet, so if I got tired, I would just want to play more. 
So if I got tired from playing with the national team, I'd play pick up with my friends just to get back into it, just just to feel fun, have fun again, and not feel so stressed out. So what would you like to say to、um, the young ladies and the young boys out there who want to play soccer? Just keep going at it. There are always going to be people out there telling you you can't do this, you can't do that. With people supporting you and a lot of, with the help of. A lot of people. We were able to convince them to send us, so we are still going. According to Lewis Grizzard, the game of life is a lot like football. You have to tackle. Block your fears and score your points when you have the opportunity. The same thing with our national lady hooter Sam Nieras has worked hard to reach her goals. Meeting one lady who rocks in a male-dominated field is really empowering. Proud to be a girl. Proud to be a Filipino. This is Nicole Ramos on Home Court. See you guys next week. I am Roy Hibbert, and you're watching PTV Sports. At nagbabalik kung pina kama lao kung kasabihan sa am PTV Sports. Welcome to iSports, everyone. I'm Nicole Ramos, and I'm Dennis Principe. At siempre ang kasama natin yun si Sir Snow Badwa. Yan so para sa mga sir kaya. Oi, sir. Pagkwento na tayo bilisan na natin kasi miya miya po papasok po ang pag-asa dahil、uh, magbibigay po sila ng update tungkol sa bagyong si. Mam Santi, Mam Santi, Mam Santi. Kailan kapi ko sa inyo? Alis kana, alis kana nte si Santi yung bagyo. Yung bagyo, go away, go away. Okay, anyway, so ba pasan nata, ah basa nata yung mga messages si Kol paano magpadala naman sa eh. All you have to do is follow us at facebook.com/pd4sports. You can also follow us at twitter.com/pd4sports. You can email us at ptvsports@mail.ptv.ph. At para sa mga gusto magtext, all you have to do is type in radio space as our space name space message and send them to two three one one for Globe and Touch Mobile, three five zero for Smart Talking Text and Sun users. Ayan, magpadala na kayo ng mga mensahe nyo at mag Mag-usap na tayo tungkol sa sports. Kwentuhan. 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 Mag-usap. Okay. Anyway. Um, you wanna start sa Facebook or text? Text. Twitter. Sige, text tayo. Sige, text. Bye. Jenny. This is from Ariel ng Makati. Good PM Pogging Snow at Principe Dennis. Gandang Nicole. Sana si Slaughter kunin ng Hinebra. Pantapat kay Junmar. Kung si Ian baka... Iwasiu, Iwasiu. Yeah. 